So what medications do we have available? So here are the traditional medical options. We have antibiotics. Many of you will be well aware of our immunomodulator medications. So we have azathioprine as well as methotrexate. And then our best treatment option, the gold standard, is our biologics. And more specifically, it's the anti-TNF therapy, so anti-tumor necrosis factor therapy. And so many of you would be well aware of these medications. And this really represents our best line or our first line and best treatment for the perianal fistulas. And that's shown here. This was the very first clinical trial that found that the anti-TNF and more specifically Remicade was an effective treatment for perianal Crohn's disease. So this was a randomized control trial that was published back in 1999 in the very prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. And you can see before treatment started, this is a patient that had a fistula tract and you can see the external opening. And so this tract likely was draining either pus or feculent matter. And then now we see after two weeks, you can begin to get a sense that there's already healing. And then by 10 weeks, there's complete healing of the external opening of the fistula tract. And that healing was maintained beyond 18 weeks. So this was the first trial that really showed we now have a medication with proven effectiveness for perianal Crohn's disease. And since then, there have been studies to show that not only is Remicade effective in the short term, but it also can maintain remission in the long term. And there are also other anti-TNF medications that have been shown to be effective, such as Humira. There's a problem with anti-TNF therapy though. And so this is a meta-analysis. And so for those of you who are not familiar with a meta-analysis, this is simply just a fancy statistical way that we can combine the results of multiple studies so that we have one summary estimate. And so when you combine the results of six controlled trials, they found that about 33% of patients achieve remission or healing of their fistulas after treatment with anti-TNF therapy. So only 33%. So there's a lot that can be approved, improved upon that. What's also very sobering is that even in the patients who achieved healing, only 34% of those patients achieved long-term remission. And even worse, if you were to do an MRI scan to, to check to see if the fistula completely healed radiologically, even fewer patients were able to achieve complete healing. So what does this show us? Number one, it shows us, it really points out, again, the refractory nature of this disease. It's very difficult to treat. But I think it also points out that even to this day, there's a large unmet need with our current medications.